Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Gravity Tubes plugin. So, this is a fantastic plugin which makes vertical transportation more interesting. So, what does that mean? Well, normally in Minecraft, we would use a staircase, some ladders, or maybe even some water to go on top of a building or up a really long statue or whatever. But this plugin allows us to use a really cool particle gravity system. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at all of these examples and then show you the commands and how to create one yourself. So if we wanted to get to the top of this tower, we would usually grab some ladders and it would take quite a while to either build them ourselves and go all the way to the top. However, because we have this plugin, we can step on the emerald and go up in a pretty quick manner. There's some really cool particle effects and jump up the top and there we go, that's how it works. Then we have a slightly quicker one here using a diamond block and up we go. A nice yellow particle effect. And if you want to get down, all you need to do is hold shift. So you can enable and disable this in the config file as well as damage, full damage you would get. So if you disable that, um, players will not be hurt when they shift all the way down. Now this one is a fun one. I've turned it up to the max. It says pr proceed with caution. And there we go, we are launched into space and we're gonna come back down a few seconds later by holding shift and up we go. So if I hold shift all the way down to the bottom, we will not be bounced back up again. Uh, but that is the sort of thing that you can do with it, which is really awesome. So you can use a slow speed or a really ridiculous fast speed and just get blasted to another dimension. So let's go ahead and create one ourselves. So you can make it look like anything. It doesn't matter what blocks you use. All you need is pretty much one block. So I'm gonna make a small platform here. I'm gonna make it look kind of nice. Let's use pink and there we go. So what we need to do is look at the block we want to be the gravity tube and do four slash GT. Then we can do GT create followed by the height of the tube we want. So 10 blocks and then the power. So the power can be anywhere from one which I've set, which is very, very slow, to 127. And 127 is crazy. So if we do four slash GT and then settings, if you hover over it, it says the settings you can change. And you can change the color of the particles as well, which is really awesome. So if we do GT settings, and then we can change, for example, let's go with power. So let's change that to five. And that's not a very big change, so we probably won't be able to tell. But if we put 50, we will go up pretty quickly, but not as high as the other one we looked at. Then if we do 127, which is the max, we will get launched into space again and back down we go. And we hit it again, up we go, and we've got to make sure we don't hit it or we'll be back in space. And there we go. So we're back down and we can now change the color of the particle effects. So let's go ahead and do that by doing four slash GT settings color, spelled the American way. And then pink isn't a color in Minecraft, so to speak. So if we do the color code and D, uh, that will work instead. So you can either write colors like blue, yellow, red, green, those will work. But sometimes you might have to use a color code like and E and F and five, six, seven, whatever. So that's how it works, it's really cool. And finally, we can change the height. So make sure you are actually looking at the block, uh, which is important. So put the cross in the middle of your screen on the block and there we go, so it's only a block high and the particles will fade out after that. Then we can set it back to 10 or 12, whatever it was, and it works perfectly. So that is pretty much the plugin. There are a couple of things in the config file, not too much, just the full damage and the sneak thing. So make sure you enable and disable that. But other than that, it's a really fantastic plugin. If you want to download it, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.